when it comes to sales and being in sales, what's a common set of problems that salespeople face that holds them back consistently and stops them from closing deals? This is an important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Honolulu, Oahu on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you on video number 2400 on this YouTube channel. And I wanna let you know that when we talk about these two items, they're interchangeable. Sometimes one's in the front, one's in the back, sometimes one's in the back, one's in the front. But at the end of the day, they both cause a significant amount of problems for a salesperson, and this is what it is. The first one is permission. And you can have a salesperson come up with a fantastic idea, a fantastic close, a fantastic promo, and then they go into a room and they look around and they're like, hey guys, I got a really good idea. I wanna know what you think about it. And they present it and everybody's like, nah, it'll never work. It's not that good of an idea. And it's really common for this to go down and have somebody go, it'll never work. It's not gonna do it. So the salesperson had a fantastic idea, need a little bit of tweaking, need a little bit of work, but it got poo-pooed. There was plenty of people who said, yeah, don't do it. I don't think it's a good idea. So they're like, ah, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. They never even tried it. Never even tried it, but they, they pulled a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of people told them, probably not a good thing, okay? So, you know, you just gotta know that if you walk into a room of people that are your competition who are looking at you going, you're gonna take my lunch money, they're probably gonna say it's not gonna work. How many times have you heard somebody say, I've got a really good idea, only for everybody to look around and go, nope, I can find every flaw in it and tell you every reason why it's not gonna work, and then the person just marches away and they're like, eh, all right, I guess I'll just keep going the way that I was, okay? Know that every time that you have a good idea and you ask 100 people, 80 of them are gonna look at it and go, it's not gonna work. 20 of them are gonna be like, hey, fantastic, I think it needs a little bit of help. We're gonna pat you on the back. Let's put a, a band-aid on this situation. Let's, let's zip this thing up. Let's polish this side. Let's do this and let's make it happen, okay? So the first problem that is intertwined is gonna be asking permission. Now, the second thing is looking for perfection. And anything that you do is gonna take work. You know, I, I have 2,400 YouTube videos up as of today. My first 500 YouTube videos, I look at them, I cringe. My first video, I'm like, oh my goodness. But I had to get out there and I had to do it. So as you're practicing, you gotta go out and do the work. Everybody's looking for perfection in role play. Everybody's looking for perfection, like I'm gonna get it 100% perfect in role play. And that's, that's good to a point, but when you're dealing with a face-to-face -face buyer and you're like, hey, I'm looking at you, we're having a conversation, when you're dealing face-to-face, -face, it's a little bit different than role play. And so you're not gonna find that perfection, right? So remember, you go to somebody and you ask them for like, hey, I need some permission. Like, no, you don't need permission from anybody. Go out and do it. Like, you, like if you were waiting for permission, I 100% grant you as the aloha wearing shirt, lay wearing guy from Hawaii that you can do it. Like I don't have a sword, right? But you can do it. If you were waiting for permission to go try something, I just gave it to you. You don't need, you don't need anybody's permission. Even though I just gave you permission, you don't need it. You don't have to like, hey, I gotta take a poll. I gotta do this, I gotta try that. And then here's the other thing. When you find a very good salesperson that you would consider a friend, then you both come up with ideas and you both spitball, you both figure out how it works, you both go out in the field and say, hey, I tried this and this is where it fell apart and this is where I had issues and this is where I had challenges. And they come back and they go, hey, I did the same thing. And then you start tinkering and you're like, ah, oh, we hit pay dirt. This is how we make it happen. We're gonna have to modify this slightly. We're gonna have to do some things, but we don't have to wait for permission. You, you like, I promise you, you don't have to wait for permission. You don't need anybody to say, go ahead and do it. And if you're waiting, hey, go ahead. You got my permission. Stop waiting for people to tell you yes. I mean, like, you are a salesperson. Sometimes you just have to assume the sale. And I'm gonna say, just not asking for permission is 100% assuming the sale and just saying, I'm gonna do it. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Let's go. And then practice. Like, there, like there's a lot of things that I look at when I shoot my videos. I was out here yesterday and I shot some videos. And then when I was done, I was like, all right, wasn't perfect, but I got it done. Done is better than perfect. There's an entrepreneur, uh, Mary Ellen Tribby, who says done's better than perfect. And in a lot of cases, doing something and getting it done gets the ball rolling, gets you with some momentum, getting going like, hey, you know what? I at least did something to get moving. I at least did something to get some momentum. I at least got some mojo. I at least got some power, right? <clears throat> but I, if you're looking for someone like all these people out here, that are watching me and like I'm shooting the video, like I don't need to ask them for permission. Hey, can I go stand over here and shoot a video? I mean like, see how crazy that sounds? Like I need your permission? No, you don't. Hey, should I use this closing line? Go do it. Hey, should I make this offer? Go do it. Are you breaking the law? No, go do it. Are you hurting yourself physically, mentally? No, go do it, right? If you're asking for permission, you 100% have it. 
you've been granted permission in in like you know whatever you're looking for you don't need permission for, like i just got done giving you permission you don't need permission from anybody you don't have to wait for these things and then second you got to practice and implement at the same time it's not ever going to roll out perfect it's not if you saw my blooper reel of how many times like i'll start a video and like it doesn't go okay and i'll do it again like the the first four times to start this video went sideways i had somebody walk behind me i had the wind blow and move my camera around right i tried and went blah, 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 blah. didn't come out perfect there's tons like if you like think about this when they make a movie of anything there's a blooper reel there's going to be a blooper reel for you whenever you give a sales presentation there's going to be a blooper reel no matter what you do you don't need somebody's permission it's not going to be perfect done's better than perfect go out there make something happen there you go you got one thing to do from here just one thing one thing find the subscribe button click on it every time i send out a video you'll get an update that says scott bell consultant sent another fantastic video probably from a cool location today i'm in my second hometown of honolulu oahu we'll see you soon thanks for dropping by aloha